I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca and here's your latest weather on demand forecast. We did have some clouds this morning for Mother's Day across mainly the central. Very stubborn, persistent, narrow band, especially along Lake Superior late morning. That did suppress temperatures a little bit, but once that sun came out, it warmed things up quite nicely. 69 degrees was our warmest reading in Upper Michigan, 66 from Iron Mountain, but still not that bad. 54 is from Marquette, Houghton, and then also uh, farther east, we didn't make it only to 46 places like Munising as they were dealing with a northeasterly breeze. And even at this moment, out of Sawyer, 7 miles per hour still getting a lake breeze from Lake Superior. So we're dealing yeah. with uh, winds that are shifting to the southeast. and That will be the trend really going forward to the day on Monday. And that's going to change things around. But notice, pretty light, except you get out to the far west. Ironwood, 14 miles an hour from the east, so the winds will be fairly gusty. Uh, off in the western UP, really beginning overnight tonight, more towards tomorrow though. And so here are your main weather headlines to begin the next work week. The clouds will return overnight Sunday into Monday. There actually already are from the west, especially over the Keweenaw Peninsula, as we're going to be dealing with that wind shift. The wind shift is going to make a headline because, of course, this time of the year, spring, we're talking about that makes all the difference as far as where our temperatures will go. And with that said, much warmer. The wind shifts are going to usher in much warmer and more humid air where it's going to be feeling a little bit more like summer, believe it or not, from where this chilly May has gone, nearly 5 degrees below average, just slightly below that now, about 4.7 degrees for the first two weeks of May. You can already see now the last couple, really last hour or two, the clouds coming back in the Keweenaw Peninsula. Notice those light green spritzes are not reaching the ground. I don't anticipate them to really reach the ground uh, any rain showers until morning and that's going to be primarily in the western UP just because the air is so dry but you notice this little band here this is actually going to the other side of it towards Minneapolis and that's where we're already seeing the humidity levels beginning to spike and it's where that drastic shift is taking place from the very dry air where we are and off in Minneapolis where it's also 80 degrees currently how about that 66 north of that Brainerd and in the 70s in the Dakotas and it's that warm air that is going to be spilling into our region come the middle, really beginning tomorrow, but of course the middle of the week is when we will really feel it. So here's how uh, it's going to look here. Mild temperatures for Monday. We'll see a little bit of showers in the western UP. Also can say, especially towards Wisconsin, possibly a, a very weak thunderstorm, not out of the question there. But trouble is these thunderstorms are going to have, or showers rather, are going to have trouble moving eastward because it's so dry. But nonetheless, they will make it, especially across the south central portion of the UP by tomorrow evening. So if, uh, yeah, moral of the story is if you have any outdoor plans, make sure you get those done. You will have all day. Tomorrow will be a nice looking day, but especially if you're in the west, it will rain on you, but then it will turn dry and actually partly cloudy. Not a bad looking day as temperatures warm quite nicely. Our future view depicts not a whole lot of rainfall coming. I do think it'll make a little bit more progress northward than that, but still you get the idea that dry air wants to hang on and it will do so for a good part of Monday as well. As high temperatures make it uh, pretty similar to today, only the 60s will make it much farther north than they did today. 68 to 56 will be the trend from west to east. Notice the wind shifting as well. Rain will be off in the west early, but then we will see some breaks. And I want to be a little more specific here. Marquette 62 for high tomorrow, 61 from Unising. The cool spots though down Escanaba and Manistique only in the mid to even low 50s there. Now your TV six day forecast, things do get interesting. Tuesday, morning, early morning, we'll have a warm front across the area. That's going to allow some thunderstorms to be prevalent, I'll say, for Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, not going to be an all-day risk, but certainly, uh, especially Tuesday morning, breaks in the afternoon, but temperatures with that warm front will soar really into the 70s, uh, especially away from lakes, both of them. Wednesday, though, a strong cold front will march through late in the evening, not before we have strong southeasterly winds and that will boost temperatures into the 70s. How about that? Warmest of uh, 2017, by the way. But with that said, these storms could be both Tuesday and Wednesday strong to severe. So heads up for that. Behind the front, though, we turn drier and cooler by late Thursday.